So good morning, welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles. Today we're going to be riding this, the Royal Alloy GT125. It's the most popular colour. This is the red and white version. Just going to get in close on the bike and just show you that dual suspension to the front. Love the way that they put these springs on there, all showing on view. Very, very retro on this. LED indicates the front bulbed front headlight. And I do like the side flashes on this, very, very Lambretta looking on this. Nice little uh, rear can on that. Now, obviously, you can change these up, put a Scorpion can on them. And the Scorpion cans are available for these. Lovely position of those mirrors as well. Nice chunky levers to this one. And you've got the rear rack to this as well. So if you've got passenger, you can put uh, your travel bag or a kit bag on the back. Tie it down with some bungee straps. Also on the rear seat on this, one pop, lift it up, and you've got a locking fuel tank just underneath that. Slightly different to the GP125, where just the front seat lifts up. So that is the dual single seat all the way through. And a nice little bump to the back for your passenger. And a nice bit of trim on those foot wells as well. So you've got the rubber trim on that. On the GP, they are trimmed out with an aluminium stopper either end of that. And a nice little luggage box to the front of this one. Just going to open that up and show you inside. Now on this one, just inside, just up underneath is a little red button. And you use that to reset your mileage um, to kilometres or miles. Bringing up the dash on this one, we're just going to get aboard the bike and show you the dashboard on this. So you've got your rev count across the top, fuel indicators to the left, your battery charge is just to the right, and your mileage is at the bottom. So currently 3.1 miles on this bike, and we're going to take it out, do a little bit more test mileage on this one. So starting it up, squeeze the brake, press the start button. You've got start button, hazard lights to the right. On the left hand side, you've got indicators to the bottom horn to the middle, main beam, dip beam, and it's got the ability of pass light just by pressing down. You've got a pass light on there as well, or headlamp flash as some know it. Mirrors, I'd say, is about an eighth of my shoulder in that mirror, and a nice clear view, nice wide mirror. They've set these quite high, so they're out the way of the elbows, elbows just below. Nice view from those mirrors, and you've got your two brake cylinders to the left and the right on this one. This is dual braking. No ABS on this one, but it has the dual braking system as all Euro 4 bikes do. And obviously Euro 5 is coming in shortly. And from the riding position, I've got ample leg room on this one. Loads and loads of leg room on this. And we're going to get this out into traffic. And just see how quick I can get this up to 40 mile an hour. And we're there already. So it gets up to speed very, very quickly on this little Royal Alloy GT125. And for the purposes of ride testing, we're gonna sit this around about 40 to 45 mile an hour and get this run in. Now the running in procedure is slightly different on the Royal Alloys. So it's slightly different to what we do on the Lexmoto. So the servicing intervals are slightly different as well. We normally say get at least around about 500 miles on one of these before you come in for a service and then it's just yearly servicing on these ones so getting this out onto the dual carriageway and as you may have noticed when I walk around the bike this has no near rear number plate so I am wearing a trade plate on my back in my jacket which is what I normally do and just pulling out into traffic very very stable and it's a very high seat on this one as well loads of leg room and it just holds a perfect straight line. I do love these Royal Alloys. The act actual finish on these is exceptional. They really do these very, very well. And of all the Royal Alloys we've sold, every single one has been a gem to ride. And as I said, when I took the uh, GP300 out, it's just such a 60s feel on this. And it really is a little bit of an eye turner compared to sort of riding around on your normal ped or your normal scooter this thing actually attracts attention especially in the red and white colors people absolutely love to look and watch these so very very nice bike to ride and it's just puddling along holding that speed especially on dual carriageway like this you've got no fear of other traffic absolutely perfect ride on this Lovely little short bars on this one, 
but even with them short bars it is a very very comfortable and very very precise and precision ride on this very easy just to look down check your speed currently sitting at 45 mile an hour 4.8 miles on the clock and holding around about 6,000 rpm I'm just looking down I can see the voltage charge is good I've got about a quarter of a tank of fuel on this as well so ample for my ride today get this up get it road tested now with these Royal Alloys obviously you've got loads of loads of additional extras you can put on these they've got the clip on front rack they are looking at doing a rear rack with a rear seat rest on it as rear seat back on it as well so your passenger's got something just to lean against also do the scorpion cans scorpion cans come in a stainless steel or a carbon black and with a scorpion can it really does set the bike off a little bit louder than a standard can and it does obviously give you a little bit of horsepower I think there's about another extra half to one horsepower you can get out of adding a, a scorpion can on this but obviously the presence the road presence it's going to give you off a loud can absolutely superb I do like loud cans on bikes and if you haven't followed my feed you know what I mean about my bike having a loud can on it but absolutely beautiful little scooter to ride and it's very very easy just to check those mirrors see the traffic behind me and for actually getting to the controls very very easy all you've got to obviously remember is compared to your normal bikes your indicators are at the bottom not in the middle so it tends to be a bit of a habit obviously if you're used to having your indicators in other places it does take a bit of getting used to going for the horn and not the indicators all the time quick shoulder check and we're going to move across take it back down the dual carriageway for one final time and then we're going to go into the urban mileage do a little bit around town obviously around town on these absolutely beautiful and do hold the well the road very very well coming in on the combined braking on that one so that was in on the rear brake and it does pull down very very quickly exceptional brakes on these as well and obviously with a 60s feel just makes you want to uh, stick a parker on and just cruise around get other people to look at you these are the sort of bike that people you make people say look at me I have a royal alloy look at this just check this out it really does attract a lot of attention so in on the front brake absolutely perfect stops on a sixpence now obviously I'm as I said in previous videos I am not a scooter lover but I do like getting out on something different than a sports bike and these scooters are so comfortable and so easy to ride just twist and go and, and that is all you need so we can head back round the roundabout back onto the dual carriageway now quick shoulder check to make sure my lane is clear before I move over obviously keeping my eye on the mirrors behind and leaving myself a space cushion from the car in front and then just bringing it up to speed and we're going to merge back onto the dual carriageway but even over the bumps that front suspension is just soaking up everything now the dampers on the front of this are adjustable so you can set your suspension up a little bit firmer or a little bit softer these come preset and we never normally need to uh, fiddle with suspension on these they set these up absolutely perfectly and they ride great every time but what a gorgeous little scooter this is absolutely loving the ride and I always come back with such a smile on my face after riding a Royal Alloy it's just oodles of fun and obviously if you happen to be uh, an older biker or a retro biker and you like your old-fashioned scooters Royal Alloy range is something that you want to uh, go for 
And with the looks on this and the styling, it is a head turner. So what we're going to do now, we're going to crank up some extra mileage. We're going to come back in when I come back into town on the Urban and just show you what the turning circle is like and what it handles like on the uh, in-town roads. And we'll come back to you in a few. So see you shortly. So just coming back off the dual carriageway now onto the urban mileage route and just to show you what this is like in traffic now obviously I've got my feet up at very very low speed so the low speed handling on this is very very good now just coming back into town and even at a nice steady 35 mile an hour just pottering around town very very good at low speeds handles very very well and I'm just going to scoot to the outside lane to go round the roundabout but the best thing obviously twist and go automatic box on this it's all controlled by the throttle and the brake very very easy to manage no worrying about having to change gears or clutch control but an exceptional little scooter this one and it just folds through those corners so superbly holds a nice steady line And what we're going to do, we're going to potter around downtown, as I say. And just flicking it around roundabouts. Very, very easy to manage and manoeuvre. And no need for any counter steer or body movement on this. It just folds and does exactly what you want it to, just by uh, a twist of the handlebars. So an ideal scooter if you wanted to take one of these out and obviously they are a little bit more pricey than the normal scooter but the quality the build and the actual refinement of these Royal Alloys is superb now we have these in stock we've got the GT125s and the GP125s we've got another GP300 coming in in the next couple of months and Royal Alloys are in very, very high demand at the moment, as are all motorcycles due to COVID-19. So we're just going to get the last couple of miles on this, head back to the garage. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about it. Click like and subscribe. Smash the hell out the notifications, you'll know when my next video is coming up then. And as always, all the media is at the bottom of every YouTube feed all the people that I follow there's a link to Eclipse Motorcycles in there as well or you can find all the info on my website which is revbomb.co.uk Eclipse Motorcycles on the first page my merchandise shop is there if you fancy anything involved in Revbomb and of course all my social media is on the last page so there's a link to the Instagram, the Twitter, the YouTube and the Facebook. You can find all the details on there. If you are interested in one of these Royal Alloys, give the guys at the garage a call. Eclipse Motorcycles on 01908 643 603. Speak to the bike sales team. You'll probably end up either speaking to myself or Phil. And don't forget we also do servicing and all the aftermarket extras on these as well so we can fit your scorpion cans if you want one with all the tyres as well the white walls if you need those until the next video guys if you're out riding ride safely be well take care of yourselves guys look after each other and until the next video from RB out on the Royal Alloy GT125 it's a big goodbye from me take care